guys, welcome back to the Humble Homestead's Kitchen. Um, I'm finally going to get to Ooh, these eggs. These are the quail eggs. I have tried multiple recipes trying to pickle them for my brother-in-law. Um, like a spicy version, a beet version, none of them are like wowing him. Okay, can you please wait one moment, please? I'm talking. Uh, so I boiled the beets yesterday actually so I'll show you those you probably didn't need to see me boil beets everybody can boil I think um, so give me a second to attend to the child and then we will discuss what I'm gonna do for these two batches First, I'm gonna put an apron on because uh, these beets are messy and I don't want to mess up my shirt hard time remembering to do that you know I was dumping all of that beautiful beet water down the drain and I thought oh I wonder if I should be saving this for something so I don't really have I don't have the expertise remember this isn't a how-to show um, obviously I can't even get a basic pickled egg recipe down um, so I'm just kind of going back to the basics. I'm going to start with, that's actually what we're gonna do. We're gonna start by making just a basic brine for the beets, so like a sweet brine. It's equal parts sugar, uh, white vinegar, and water. So I'm just gonna do one cup of each because I'm also going to try to pickle some beets for ourselves. Um, I know if you want like a richer flavor or more modern flavor, you can use apple cider vinegar, but again, I'm not, I'm not trying to get fancy with anything. I'm just trying to keep it back to the basics. So I've got my one cup of water in here. Just gonna do some basic vinegar. Um, as long as it's the, I think it's 5% acidity. Speaking of vinegar, pretty sure I made my own vinegar. I tried to start learning how to make kombucha and it's been six weeks since I started it and it's still sitting under the cupboard so I'm pretty sure I made kombucha. Uh, Y'all I really tried to prepare my supplies and I forgot the measuring cup still. So then just one cup of white sugar. And yes, you do see some brown. I normally buy the organic cane sugar from like Costco. Um, so there's one cup of that. Um, I have a helper who's itching to be a part of this. So let's let her help pour this in. Ready? Let's pour that in the pot. It's heavy. I'll help you, okay? Okay, go ahead. Nice. All right. No, we don't need that yet. So we're just gonna bring this up to a boil and let it boil for like five minutes and then we'll let it cool. To peel the beets. Now, one thing I did learn, when you're peeling, I'm just gonna bowl, I'm gonna put these scraps in. I don't, I don't, okay, I don't know if you can peel these. You probably can use this stuff. Well, first of all, when you're peeling, um, and I guess I did go through the boiling process with you guys, but the water was quite beet flavor colored. Um, so you wanna leave the stem and root on while you're boiling, otherwise it'll, it'll they'll pigment even more. Um, some people pickle these with the, with the skin on, but I'm taking mine off. I picked these up at the farmer's market like two weeks ago. I also, um, I, uh, boiled them yesterday so like just having a hard time getting things done this week um I'm putting two jars I think there's only like three big ones and six medium-sized ones but I'm gonna try to pickle some up for us as well but I'm trying to save enough room in one of these jars I might actually go look for a third jar maybe I'll do three jars um sweetie you can't cut the beets they're very messy um but I'm going to put some of these beets in with the pickled quail eggs and do like a beet. Um, we're, gonna make We're making pickled eggs. 
and pickled beets. Okay, so we got them all cut up. This is just the bowl of peels. I didn't need these two little jars. Something I didn't really think about is my hands are dyed red from the beets. Got us a nice quart sized jar for here. Hopefully they'll work out. Um, hopefully I made enough brine actually. So I have two jars and I have about a dozen eggs left down here. But again, like I don't have any jalapeno, so I can't make it super spicy. I'm going to just add some of this pickling spice. I probably should have added it into the brine, but to save time, I'm not going to. No, I'm just kidding. So the one batch of the regular sugar brine, I'm just going to pour one on one of these and one like some in here. Then I'm going to make a separate brine um, using less sugar and a little more salt and this dill pickle mix. And I'm going to pour it over the other batch of eggs and we will see how that goes. And I'll probably add maybe some onion and fresh garlic. That'll just maybe give it a little bit of flavor. I'm really impatient. Um, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put those in there now. I'm really impatient. I don't know what I'll do with those other eggs. Just tell them to eat them. Um, just kind of breaking it open a little bit. Um, I'm really impatient to wait for that brine to cool off. Like I thought, oh, I wonder if I could add ice cubes to it or something. But, and I'm just kind of breaking it a little bit. I think that'll help. Um, I'm tired of following recipes, so I'm just, other than the basic brine recipe, and honestly, now that I think about it, I still want to help. You still want to help? Yeah. This, this kosher dill pickle mix actually has no instructions on it. So I don't know how much you're supposed to use for like a basic. I'm all done with those. That one, honey. Do you want to take just the orange part off the onion? Just, just this stuff, okay? Yeah. Miss Vip's working hard over here. What do you think? I'm gonna check. All right, guys. I have my the pan is still a little warm, but the brine felt fine. Like it's still a little bit warm, but I think it'll be okay. So I'm gonna pour. And, oh, it doesn't fit. My fancy way is I, I have these ones in a Prego jar. I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> so I'm going to tell them P for Prego, also for plain. So these are just the plain brine. Covering them. And then I'm going to add the other brine to our beets. Yeah, you're, you're welcome to come finish your lunch, buddy. I have a little bit left, so I'm just gonna pour it right over. That actually was perfect. I always, I'm always afraid it's not gonna work out. So I have both of these done, and I think they say you can do it after like 24 hours. Um, but I would probably, I'll suggest to Anthony that he wait. Like a week. It might take me a week to get him over there, but not anyways. My sister was sick. I'm not sure how she's doing now. I should probably check on her. All right, I'll be right back. I'm gonna call my sister. I'm back. Anyway, I called my sister and she's actually leaving the ER as I called her. She had um, like a couple weeks ago, but she just hasn't gotten better. Um, so yeah, she actually has bronchitis and communicable pneumonia. Uh, our, our, we had bronchitis a lot as kids, uh, myself as well. My sister still smokes, so she still has crappy lungs. Uh, mine, mine fare a little bit better because I quit smoking 24 years ago, 25 years ago. So anyway, I opened this up. I don't know. I just was, I just won it, but I actually, I guess I thought it was going to be like white. It almost looks like a, just a really, smells very dill-like. Um, it looks like a ground up pickling spice. This is just a general pickling spice, but this has has those cloves in it and I think they're all spice what one of those two I don't think I think it's like a turn off to my brother-in-law so I wanted to avoid those I did add some garlic and onion to this 
it's so pretty. It's like a pretty yellow. I just did like a half, half, half a cup of vinegar, half a cup of water, um, and like a quarter cup of sugar. I just, I probably shouldn't have put sugar in it. And again, there's no instructions on that container. Darn, I wish I had more of that spice in there and less of the liquid. Um, anyway, I'm going to try to dump this in here. There was no instructions, so I put like two tablespoons of that powder in, in the brine, in the pot. I actually feel like two tablespoons might have been a little too much. I was just trying to drain the water so I could put like all this spice stuff in the jar because the jar was full. Um, I feel like two tablespoons might have been a little overkill, but you know, it's fine. Everything's fine. So, and this is the peach jar, which I just realized it probably doesn't make sense that I said that the plain went in the pasta, the prego, but this is also peaches, so I'll probably write it on there. But yeah, there you go. That is my um, attempt to make pickled eggs, and maybe next time I do them, I will touch base and we'll see how my brother likes it. Or my brother-in-law uh, recipe or any kind of pickling brine recipe that just is to die for. Um, I would love to know it in the comments. We're looking for, his, his goal is for like a beet style, possibly like a spicy beet, I think, or maybe he wants one of each, I don't know. Um, but you know, I'm committed because these quail are expensive and literally their sole purpose is to supply my brother-in-law with yeah. pickled eggs. So anyway, if I get good at it, maybe I can, you know, give them to other people in exchange for a donation. But so I was editing and realized that I never, never edit a closing clip or statement. So come back next week. We will taste test all the pickled things and see how it goes. Hopefully, hopefully something's good. And uh, yeah, thanks for growing with me this morning, you guys. And until next time, stay humble. Thanks, guys.